G'day, I'm Tim from Drop Air Bites and I'm the composer and sound designer on Broken Roads. Today we're going to take a closer look at one of our tracks called Camel Trot. A lot of people may not know it, but there's actually over 1 million feral camels roaming Australia and that was the inspiration for this track. So as you can see, we have a lot of different elements to this track. Uh, I'll try not to make this video too long, but let's have a closer look at each one. Okay, so straight up we have some acoustic guitar. Uh, and I've just grabbed my Maiden and I've run it straight through my interface. I've given it a bit of compression, some delay, which really helps with the atmosphere, some EQ. What I've then done is doubled that track and brought it down an entire octave. Through that I've given a little bit of overdrive, some compression as well, delay, EQ, and I've run it through a utility to bring the stereo width down to zero. And together they sound like this. Very cool. Okay, next up we have some synth strings that I made. I'm using Ableton's Operator, which is an FM synthesizer, and it has a saw wave that is being modulated by a sine wave that is running through some reverb that is at 100% wet with a little bit of EQ, and this is how it sounds. The key here is that reverb. If I bring that dry wet down to 0%, meaning that the effect is basically nullified, this is what it sounds like. Very cool, helps create a bit of atmosphere sounds similar to real string samples which I do actually use uh, further on down the track but uh, just creates another element of atmosphere okay let's take a look at some percussion uh, the track starts with the shaker track here which is basically this egg shaker recorded a few times and then run through a whole heap of reverb and delay Okay, next we have some bongos. Some more shakers again because you can never have too many shakers. This here is one of my favorites. It's a clave with a whole heap of reverb and uh, I use it a lot through the Broken Road soundtrack because it really does uh, help add to that atmosphere. And the whole soundtrack is all about atmosphere, really. Nice big long reverb tail there, sounds great. And last but not least, I have a metal can that I did some finger tapping on. Just adds another element to the percussion. And all together, they sound like this. Very cool, gotta love percussion. Okay, let's take a look at the piano. And for that, I'm using Arturia's Piano V2, which is an excellent piano VST. It's probably my favorite that I've ever used. Uh, I have a little bit of compression, some reverb. As you can see, I use a lot of reverb, um, some EQs, and that's it. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like.
love piano. And accompanying the piano, I have a synth arpeggiator that I made, once again using the Ableton operator. I'm running that through some delay with an EQ. I have an LFO modulating the EQ. I'm then running it through delay again uh, using the Hass effect, which helps create a bit of stereo width, and through a compressor and some reverb. And it sounds like this. <laughs> Very dreamy and once again another element of atmosphere. An instrument that's often overlooked because it seems very basic and boring is the bass. As we all know, bass players load all the gear for the bands. I used to play bass in a band, I've heard it all, don't worry. Um, but nonetheless, it is still a very crucial element to a track. Um, once again, I'm using the Ableton operator doing a bit of FM synthesis with a sine wave, modulating another sine wave running that through some EQ and some multi-band dynamics. Let's have a listen. Not very exciting, I know, but if you remove the bass, it has a massive impact on any track. One thing that's fun to do and very impactful is run some floor toms through a big reverb. And here I've got some floor tom samples that are being run through a saturator just to give them a bit more warmth and edge um, through utility, some EQ8 and a lovely reverb. And this is how they sound. As you can hear, that reverb tail is quite long, so you have to use it sparingly. Okay, let's take a look at the strings. For that, I'm using the Ableton Strings Ensemble Legato Pack uh, with a bit of compression and EQ. This is how it sounds. For one section further on in the track, I also throw in a violin solo legato, which sounds like this. And with the strings. Just gives another little subtle bit of flavor. In the middle of the track, we have some more acoustic guitar, yet again using my Maiden. Um, I've double tracked this, so I've played it twice, panned one left and one right, run through some compression, some reverb and some EQ. This is how it sounds. I envision camels running across the Australian desert. And once again, towards the end of the track, a bit more acoustic guitar, this time playing a little bit of lead. Um, I've done three tracks for this. I have various EQ 
a delay and reverb settings that are going through yet another reverb and EQ and this is what it sounds like. Fun fact, when I initially showed Craig Ritchie, our CEO, this track, he got to this section here and said those guitars are very distracting. And I said, no worries, mate, I'll remove them, not a problem. But I didn't remove them, Craig. I just mixed them very low, did a bit more processing, uh, and made them a little bit more subtle. And they're still in there. And when I showed you the second time, you loved it and you never noticed. So there you go. Okay, and last but definitely not least, probably the most crucial part of the track, this here Tuba Solo Legato. There's one little section here. Uh, once again, running it through some reverb, surprise, surprise, and some EQ. And this is how it sounds. That's it. And finally, let's bring all those elements together and have a listen. Okay, very cool. That was a lot of fun and I hope you thought so too. Thanks for sticking around. I really hope you enjoyed this closer look at Camel Trot. If you have any questions about the music or anything else in Broken Roads, please leave comments down below and we'll get back to you. I'll see you next time. Cheers.